who tells you? You must remember that moment. Finley? No. I think I got a call. I think I got told like the week before by one of the writers. So again, this hit my head and booze does this to you. I've realized. Okay. But I know I got told like the week before. Hey, this might happen. Are you psyched? Hell yes. I wasn't. I should have never been signed by WWE, ever. And now I'm gonna be a champion. Like, this is awesome. Then we, I get there and I find out it's happening. Mm-hmm. Now it's even cooler. And then I find out I'm going to do a finish, which my original finish was supposed to be like a bulldog off the middle. And I asked him if I could do the tadpole because that was my indie finish. Mm -hmm. No, no, Chavo does that. Well, then I'm under the ring, and Dean Malenko is our agent. Under the ring, and Dean says, Dylan, can you do, a, can you do the tadpole? Funaki's doing the, the bulldog. Uh, Chavo's not doing the splash. I go, goddamn right I can. So... How did they get words to you under the ring? You I had a headset. Oh, I had yeah, a headset. headset. Yeah, every night I always had a headset and a monitor, so I could see my cues, except on house shows, which had nothing. Mm. You're just listening. I could memorize matches by the sound. It was awesome. It was awesome. I knew my cues. Um, they would do a water bottle. Like if, the, if there was a cue, they'd have the ring announcer Justin Roberts a lot of times throw a water bottle for one. But I would beat the water bottle because I knew my cue wow. by the sound. Um, that's how many times we worked with Mark Henry and Kali and Boogeyman. Right. Um, that's how much they mixed up the match, too. Fit always would, though. Fit would a lot. I bet he would. But just to mess with him, I think, a lot <laughs> of the time. I really do. But I could always hear the, the bump. I always knew that. Okay. Um, and it was even easier when he would lift the apron. Then I knew my cue for well, sure. Well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but no, so the, the Cruiserweight title, again, I should have never won a title. Ever. Ever. And I'm winning the Cruiserweight title? Crazy. It's insane. As a wrestling fan, are you disgusted with your own company? Hell no. Okay. No, I know you're psyched. Uh, it's, you know what, that's... There's two things that piss me off. The criticism. Yeah, the, the whole wellness violation and the hatred for me killing the Cruiserweight title. Nobody, was, they weren't doing anything with it. Gregory Helms had it for a, over a year, but that's the only thing at this time that people cared about it. You know, mm -hmm. and then I did it, and we did stuff with Noble, and people cared about it again. Maybe in a negative way, but at least they were talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's better to have someone talking than nothing. Jay was awesome. Like he was great to work with. He he never had a. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I wouldn't do that. My character wouldn't do that. I, I don't think I should put him over. No, because he wasn't being used all that much. Mm. So to do entertaining stuff and ha ha stuff and not take all that many bumps, mm -hmm. he loved it. Right. Loved it. Now he works as a producer later that. on. Oh yeah, yeah, later. Later on. Much later. When he moved over to producer, mm -hmm. he was like in charge of Sean and Taker. Their two matches. It's crazy. Like he went to producer and then he was liked so much as a producer. He was in. He was one of the producers for their Mania matches. Insane. Right. Like, you would think Hayes or R and R and right, all that. Right, right. Hayes was on it, and Jamie Noble was on it. It's crazy to me. He's smart as a producer. I will say he's very smart as a producer. How much is a producer giving guys like that? He was, he came up with their finish. Oh, okay. He came up with the, the take care of Sean finish. Um, your appeal to kids was such a big part of your popularity and obviously the reason that Vince and producers would say go for the ha ha because mm -hmm. they wanted you to keep that market entertained and it worked for you long term too um, though it may have frustrated you um, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, did you feel at the time that you were maybe alienating hardcore fans of the sport or was, was it all good with you that 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 was your role. You talked about knowing your role and doing your role and blah, blah, blah. Did you feel any of that frustration that, you know, I, I could be more than this role? No, not at that time. Because I was being used consistently. Mm -hmm. um, later in the career, yeah. But at that time, I was still young. I was, I mean, I was in the business for a year at this point. Like, mm -hmm. Or in the company for a year, I should say. Um, you know, another, another thing that fits, it wasn't really advice. But he said, he goes, 
Dylan, I tell the office all the time, there's no one that's loved by kids more than you. And I always resonated. And he would tell me that a lot. Like, whenever I was real down, if mm -hmm. I got real down about stuff, he would tell me that, remind me. But it was one of those things, like, I didn't realize it until much later, much later, how much kids loved me. Mm -hmm. um, when we were, when Fit and I were the baby faces, did baby face stuff, like fully baby face on ECW stuff, and throwing the hats and dancing around. I didn't realize it until like then, but I never pat myself on the back or toot my own horn, but fucking toot toot, I easily was one of the most child-friendly characters. You and the Bushwhackers. I love the Bushwhackers were my grandpa's favorite tag team. I know them. <laughs> this ain't your grandpa's wrestling. No. What did you want your role to be? At that time, I was that time. willing to do whatever I could do. If it's getting me on the show, which it was every week, I was fine. Who tells you? You must remember that moment. Finley? No. I think I got a call, I think I got told like the week before by one of the writers. So again, this hit my head and Booze does this to you, I've realized. Okay. But I know I got told like the week before, hey, this might happen. Are you psyched? Hell yes. I wasn't, I should have never been signed by WWE. Ever. And now I'm going to be a champion? Like, this is awesome. Then we, I get there and I find out it's happening. Mm -hmm. Now it's even cooler. And then I find out I'm going to do a finish, which my original finish was supposed to be like a bulldog off the middle. And I asked him if I could do the tadpole because that was my indie finish. Mm -hmm. No, no, Chavo does that. Well then, I'm under the ring, and Dean Malenko's our agent. Under the ring, and Dean says, Dylan, can you do a, can you do the tadpole? Funaki's doing the, the bulldog. Uh, Chavo's not doing the splash. I go, God damn right I can. So. How did they get words to you under the ring? You I had a headset. Oh, I had a headset. headset. Yeah, every night I always had a headset and a monitor. So I could see my cues, except on house shows, which had nothing. Mm. You're just listening? I could memorize matches by the sound. It was awesome. It's awesome. I knew my cues. Um, they would do a water bottle. Like if, the, if there was a cue, they'd have the ring announcer, Justin Roberts, a lot of the time throw a water bottle for one of But I would beat the water bottle because I knew my cue wow. by the sound. Um, that's how many times we worked with Mark Henry and Kali and Boogeyman. Right. Um, that's how much they mixed up the match, too. Fit always would, though. Fit would a lot. I bet he would. But just to mess with him, I think, a lot <laughs> of the time. I really do. But I could always hear the, the bump. I always knew that. Okay. Um, and it was even easier when he would lift the apron. Then I knew my cue well, for sure. Well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but no, so the, the Cruiserweight title, again, I should have never won a title. Ever. Ever. And I'm winning the Cruiserweight title? Crazy. It's insane. As a wrestling fan, are you disgusted with your own company? Hell no. <laughs> okay. No, I know you're uh, psyched. 